Now that we've thought about how and why groundwater is moving through this system, we want to use the groundwater model to make some predictions about how a contaminant would move through the groundwater system. So let's imagine our model represents a geologic cross-section under the East Helena smelter site. And we want to think about how contamination from the slag heap would move through the groundwater system. So if the slag heap was rained on, arsenic and selenium from the slag would leach into the groundwater system. How do we think that contamination will move through this system and why? Take a minute to think about how and why contamination will move through this groundwater system. Okay, so now we're going to add some dye at the location of the slag heap and see where that contamination moves in our model of a groundwater system.